Well, being in a Bible study or being on a sports team gives you an opportunity to know people in a context that's not political. And you have an opportunity to open up and talk. I think it's very important to be spiritually grounded as a member of Congress. I believe in the YMCA triangle of spirit, mind, and body of you know, keeping yourself physically fit, um, keeping your mind physically fit, reading good stuff, reading the bills, staying sharp, understanding the issues, but being spiritually grounded as well because there's so many temptations and so many issues that are up there that you need some guidance and often on important votes. Um, I know many, many members would seek the Lord in prayer and decide, you know, is, is this the right w way to vote or not? And I certainly would include myself among those, but, um, you know, the sports teams raise a tremendous amount of money for charity. I played on the baseball and the football team. I was chairman of the house gym. I can tell you it was the best opportunity for fellowship and to let off frustration and stress release relief that there is. Um, doesn't mean that you're going to get along with people on, on the floor in terms of voting compatibility, but in terms of uh, disagreeing in an agreeable way, it's fine. Um, I know one time our football team was practicing and the, the charity for the football team is the children of fallen police officers. So we play the, the cops and uh, the cops are younger and physically fit, plus they actually had their own team. So they, they beat us several years in a row. And so what do we do? We're lawmakers, we change the rules. And we, we decided that we could have pro football players. We already had Heath Shuler who played for the Washington Redskins as a um, quarterback. No, excuse me, I think he played for the Saints. He did play for the Saints, he was at the University of Tennessee. And then we had John Runyon who, who played for the Jets. So they were members of Congress who had played professionally. And then we decided we could have two pro players. We had Ken Harvey who was for the Washington Redskins, an All-American linebacker, and John Booty who played for the Eagles and he was a wide receiver. And then we kind of expanded it. We got Herschel Walker to play with us and a, a number of the others. And of course, not only are they elite athletes, but they're really super people, great, um, great for the cause in terms of us being able to raise more money, get more people to come watch us, but a lot of fun. But one day we were practicing and none of the Democrats showed up. Football team is bipartisan. Baseball, it's a Republican team playing the baseball, uh, playing the Democrat team, and we play in National Stadium, and it's really cool to play. You know, I play third base. Um, I always say I'm at the top of the age, the bottom of the talent, so, uh, you know, don't get all the game time. But to be sitting, standing on third base and knowing that tomorrow night at the same time there's going to be a real baseball player, you know, standing there and, um, in the Nat Stadium, it, it's just, it's really, it's really fun. But one time we were practicing and none of the Democrats showed up. What the heck? Well, the president had called them in because he was trying to get their votes on the passage of his health care bill, Obamacare. So all the Democrats were gone. It was just so, so really a reminder that while we all got along great on the field, and you know, they were dads like I'm a dad, and they have carpools and kids who like to hunt and all kinds of other things in common with me, they were all gone in the name of Obamacare. And and you know, and so they, they all voted for Obamacare, we all voted against Obamacare. Um, you know, we could still be friends and still get along, but on one of the biggest issues that passed in maybe the last 50 years, we were on opposite sides of. And so, so it was kind of, you know, it's interesting that, you know, even though I strongly disagree with what they're doing, we could still have a rapport and relationship. And I think that that is important for the big picture of the United States of America.